can't hit nothing off of here. Maybe this will be a better setup. I'd like to be a little bit more steady. Maybe on top of the truck is the way to go. Can't just get comfortable here. Where's a shooting table when you need one? I don't know where that shooting bench is at. Steve has always taken my stuff. I'm gonna have to build me a new shooting bench. Well, I have most of my pieces cut for the frame, so now it's time to assemble the frame up. I really enjoy doing these little projects for the range and making up stuff like this to help my shooting experience just be a little bit better. I know you can go and buy a shooting table and that's fine if you wanna go do that. This is the second shooting table that I've made. On that one, the seats were actually attached to the shooting table. I didn't really like that. I decided on this one, I was gonna go with a table that didn't have the seat attached because then it won't wiggle the table at all when I'm shooting. Where that's especially nice is when you're sighting in a scope or something and maybe you have it set up on a lead sled or up on bags. Let's say you shot at 50 yards, just sighting it in. You see that your hit is four inches high and two inches left. Well, then it's easy to just leave the gun set up there, turn the dials, in order to move your crosshairs to where you actually hit. If you're sitting on the table, that's a nightmare. <laughs> we got our four legs made, let's attach them to the table. Now that I got the legs attached, I'm gonna put a two by four around the base just to sturdy up the bottom of the legs. And then we'll flip the table over, put the top on. Lunch time. I didn't have time to pack a lunch this morning. This is my meal replacement lunch from Mountain Ops. Time to get back to work. I got the frame finished up. Now I just gotta put the top on. Now we just gotta see if it fits. Well, by golly, I think that'll work. Now the question is, how heavy is it? More than I want to move by myself. I might have to put some wheels on it. Now that's more like it. Got my target set up. Now let's shoot them. All right, let's test this out. New shooting bench. Oh, I like this table. Exploding targets, chalk, can't go wrong. I built this bench with my boys in mind as well as my shooting needs. They need a little bit lower table, so this table is only 28 inches from the ground to the top of the finished table. What I did is I built in adjustment. I can adjust the height four inches higher up if that suits whatever shooting I'm doing a little bit better. So I put a center position right here for the person to sit shooting here, you can either shoot left-handed or right-handed. I went ahead and added these wheels. The thing that I really like about that is I can tip it on end, move it around the range if I wanna move it. You can build this entire table for under $100 really easy. Probably screws and all, you're looking at between somewhere between 80 and $90. The other thing that I've ran into with uh, shooting benches is, you know, you don't have a lot of room up here, right? I'm a right-handed shooter, so I put this on the left side, but I put just a little gun rail right here that I can set up to four guns there while I'm using one here. So just gives me that flexibility to set a couple guns up to the side there, and I can switch between them however I want without going back to the truck, or them being in the way on the top of the table right here. So that's what I got. So there you have it. That's a shooting table that you can build for under $100. In the description, I'll put a materials list. So if you want to go out and build this yourself, you can do that. If you're not already a Gould Brothers subscriber, you can subscribe to us right up here. And I hope you do. To watch our latest video, click right over here. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya.